Apple's new product, the iPad, has just been launched, but don't, don't close this video, this is not another iPad related too much video. What I'm gonna to, what I'm gonna show you in this video is a small hack to view web pages just like you would on the iPad. Well, almost. What this video will show you is how to change the user agent of Firefox to tell websites that you are actually on an iPad. So those websites will display their content as they would for an iPad. So what you need is Firefox and a small add-on called User Agent Switcher 0.7.2 link is in is beneath the video so once you've added this to Firefox once you go up to tools and default user agent you should have Internet Explorer search robots and iPhone the rest I've added myself so once you've come to this menu click on edit user agents new new user agent and it will ask you for a bunch of information. Not all this is needed though. Let's close this. To find your user agent, go to Wikipedia and just search for mobile user agents. And we have here Apple iPad. This is a user agent used on the iPad. Copy that. Go back up to Tools, Default User Agent, Edit User Agents. Click on New, New User Agent and you can paste the user agent here well, I have one ready here so I'm just going to double click here so I can show you the description you want to put iPad user agent paste it in here app code name you want to put iPad app name mobile safari and app version version 5 parenthesis macintosh semicolon n dash us close parenthesis all these are on the blog post to this hack on alphacomputer.net so once you have that done select that iPad user agent and once you start refreshing a few web pages you should see them just like they would on an iPad here we go this is what Wikipedia will look like on an iPad it displays their mobile site now a good example for this is CNET TV This is what CNET TV will look like on an iPad. Just refresh this a few times, get rid of the cache. Okay, and now when we go to the desk for CNET site and back to CNET TV, we get the iPad version of their site. Here we go, we have the different player, we don't have that menu on the side, and things are slightly more touch friendly since they're big, really big icons there. Now, not all the functionality is there because this is Firefox and and on the iPad you run Safari and the video won't play because if we view the page source um, Firefox does not support the new HTML5 video tag for more information on HTML5 view my HTML5 video which should be in the related post or on top of this video under all videos and we see this video tag here which is supported by Safari Chrome IE9 and IE with Chrome frame but it's not supported by Firefox just yet so not all iPad functionality, iPad functionality can be found by using this user agent but you can roughly see what it would look like on the iPad so that is how to view web pages just like you would on the iPad. If you don't yet have an iPad, congratulations for not giving in. This has been a video by me, Alpha Computing. .net. Feel free to subscribe for a bunch of great videos. No, really, they are great. I have plenty of great videos here. Here's the HTML5 video you might want to check out. Now, if I've gone too quickly for you and you want to read some more information, head over to alphacomputing.net. You should see it under hacks, or you can search here for user agents or whatever. I pad in. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash alphacomputing. There you go, I'm getting ready for an iPad free videos, which I lied, sorry. Facebook.com slash pages slash alpha computing net slash one two five six one seven seven four two nine three three link beneath
Alpha Computing. Ew, what? <laughs> Google.com slash profile slash alpha computing dot net for my buzz. Friendfeed.com slash alpha computing for friendfeed. MySpace.com slash alpha computing for MySpace. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and check out all of those websites and browse them with the new iPad user agent. Alpha, signing off.